Hey guys, if you bought your kids a Ninja line, but you want a few tips to get the most out of it, this is the right spot, so stay tuned. Welcome to our backyard, everybody. This is Fun Size Adventures, which is our Smith family vlog, all about breaking down the barriers that keep families from getting outside and having fun. Today, we are in our backyard setting up another part of our obstacle course. We've got our Ninja line. We just set it up. We used our instructional guide we made last year. If you are looking for instructions to set up your Ninja line, I'll put a link to it on the end card at the end of this video, as well as up here. But today we're going to be talking about a few different ways that you can get the most out of it. All right, this particular Ninja line is by the brand Joy Moore, and we bought it off Amazon.com. But all the different brands you can get are all about the same price, all about the same as far as what they come with, with a little bit of variety between brands as far as exactly what you get as far as obstacles. This one came with three of these wooden monkey bars, three rings, and then three of these knots, which I believe are called monkey knots, and then a rope ladder. We have this stretched between trees that are the perfect length to use all but I think two of the loops. There's one loop at that end, one loop at that end that we can't get through because they're tied up. But as you can see, we're missing two slots. So your options are to make it shorter, but if you don't want to make it shorter, our first tip is you can do this. For tip number one, we're going to undo these to open up and move these to wooden bars. All right, now we're going to pop one of these off like so. And then you can take one of these ones, pop it off, and you could pop it on here. And what that's going to do is it's going to turn your bar sideways so it's parallel with the line as opposed to the other way, which is perpendicular to the line. And this will only use one for these two slots. We could hang this one down there, and that would get us our distance. So we got him coming off the tree for it, grabbing that, grabbing the rings. Just gives you a little bit more variety to turn it sideways. But this is where the trouble comes in. Ah! See if he can make it. Ah! So as you can see, the obstacle set up this way would have made it possible to get across. But our next tip, and this is what we're going to spend the bulk of the time figuring out a solution to today, is these monkey knots. These are by far the most difficult obstacle on this line. And I get it, it's supposed to be hard. For younger kids like this, it's just a little bit too hard. And as you can see, Ethan's a pro at everything else. But whatever it is about these knots, they're just really hard to do. I don't even think I can hang from them. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Yeah, so as you can see, you, you must need to be a whole nother level to be able to do that. So that's what we're going to spend the bulk of our time today figuring out is a way to make this a little bit easier to do, but a lot more fun. Because at the end of the day, yeah, you want to be challenging your kids to try to get stronger, to try to learn to do new things. But if it's not fun, they're not going to try. I've got this length of one inch PVC pipe that's about four feet long. My plan is to drill holes through it so we can thread the top end of these monkey knots through it and then it'll rest on top of the knots and make like a shimmy bar to shimmy across. But it looks like I'm gonna have to trim the ends down a little bit and then cap the ends. But first, for safety's sake, we gotta do a strength test and make sure that this is actually gonna work out. The main thing I wanted to see uh, was if I could get by with just the one string at other, either end or if I wanted to put something in the middle to support the middle. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna drill three different holes through it for the three different knots so that it has the most support possible. All right, Ethan, my assistant, is holding the pipe. Let's line this end up. We're gonna make marks about... We're gonna try to make marks <laughs> where the three bars are and then we're gonna cut it about there I do. myself so we're trimmed to the length now we gotta drill the holes i'm gonna drill the holes through both sides top and bottom i'm gonna use a 3 16th inch drill bit to drill the first holes and then i've got this wider paddle bit to drill the full width so that that rope will fit through and then i've got these pvc caps that i'm going to put on the ends to kind of just finish it off a little bit and make sure there's no sharp edges one thing i want to make sure is these first holes i want to make sure that i drill far enough down that i'm not going to cover them with this cap otherwise the rope can't go through obviously i'm going to stick my drill bit in there it goes in about that far yeah okay if i follow the mark i made here i should be all set That 
should have mentioned this is kind of a theoretical thing, but if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna put the video up, so. If you're seeing this, then it must have worked. Now I got a file I'm gonna use to kind of round these corners up, make sure they're nice and smooth, they're, so that they're not kind of like cut at the Daddy. rope or fray the rope. Nope. All right, I'm gonna pop these end caps on. On the other end. Now the moment of truth. Find out if this worked or not. Now I'm gonna pop these off here. See if I can thread it through and through the other side. Just barely big enough. And then connect it back on like so. Now we'll work our way down and connect the other two and then we'll find out if it's strong enough. I'm gonna do the preliminary weight test on this just in case it snaps, the kids don't get hurt. The weakest point the is gonna be right in the middle of this one. So we'll find out. I wouldn't hang my weight on there, but you should be okay. But the important thing is he made it across this. It didn't snap. It'll hold my weight fine. If I put it right there by the ball, I should be, I should be fine. Am I gonna hang right here? No, I'm fairly confident that would snap it. But if you're a kid, you should be fine. So I think this is something that will help your younger kids be able to use the whole course and get a little bit more out of it when these knot balls by themselves are just a little bit too much. They're a little bit too hard to hold on to. This is a good place to start. So thank you so much for watching today. If you want to see more of our backyard obstacle course fun, click on one of these videos right here. But until next time, go out there and have a fun-sized adventure of your own. And if you fall off this and die, don't sue me. Boom! <laughs> Man, eat that! Rain is picking up. The rain's picking up? Yeah, we're trying to get The rain's picking up.